Hi everybody, how are you? Today is Saturday. Um, I think it's the 21st of March. So almost officially a week of self-isolation. Um, okay, today I'm doing something a little, a little different. I wrote out a workout for my client. It's a push-pull workout and uh, we're implementing, we're gonna use the tools of a TRX. I have kettlebells, you all know this by now. <laughs> He has dumbbells. So um, I'm going to show you what you can do in a small space. Uh, I have the camera set up or my phone set up to film this. So I don't want to move it because I'm afraid I'll mess something up. But you can see I have the TRX behind me. That is my bathroom door. So you, I have a door anchor. That is something you have to buy separately from a TRX. But a TRX is a, is a great tool for small spaces. Uh, you can take it anywhere, but if you use it inside, you need a door anchor. Um, and you want to make sure you use a door that opens inwards. So when you pull it to, it has the whole door frame uh, for support of your body weight. Because if it's a door that opens outwards, you could fall on your face. All right? So <laughs> just be fairly smart about which door you use if you're going to use a door anchor. I'm grateful I have the bathroom door that opens inwards. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to use it in my house. Um, so it's push-pull. I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm only gonna demonstrate eight exercises because <laughs> there are 10 in this workout, but I really uh, can't demonstrate push-ups too well right now because of my right shoulder, although I can do TRX push-ups well enough. Um, and I don't have a pull-up bar, so I'm not gonna do those either. I don't even think I can right now. Um, all right, so let's get to it. Let's have some fun, um, and I'll uh, coach you through each exercise as I go. So let's do this. Hopefully you guys can see, because it's, um, as you all know at this point, I'm spatially challenged, but that's no excuse not to exercise and move, guys. So that is really the main purpose, other than giving me purpose to create these workouts for you all and sharing them, is that there really are no excuses to not work out. Um, I'm in a studio apartment. This space I'm in right here, this building was built in the 1930s. This space was where the Murphy bed used to be. Uh, so yeah, this is the little space I'm in. And I keep getting text messages, sorry, but I gotta get rid of that so I can focus. Um, first exercise, we're gonna do a TRX chest press. So straps are on the outside of arms. You want a nice firm grip on the handles, guys. And when you are using the TRX, you do not, the straps never touch your arms. So if they're uh, on your arms, you need to elevate up so they are not touching your arms, okay? It's one of the TRX rules. <laughs> so I'm gonna have my feet about hip width apart right now. It's gonna make uh, this easier for me right now. And then from here, you're just gonna do like a push-up. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, because right now we're in an active plank position and we want our entire body strong before we bend at the elbow joint. Keep the wrist in the elbow joint, exhale, push up. So here, I'm gonna say at least 10 repetitions, okay? So TRX chest press, and then you're gonna follow that up with another pull, or excuse me, push. I'm already talking backwards. I, I say at least one mistake every video. <laughs> one of my isms. All right, guys. All right. Come back. Hopefully you can see me. So you don't need a bench to do a chest press. So I'm going to push my low back into the floor. And then I'm going to come down, wrist stay over elbows. Exhale, press it up. Here and here. We'll do one more right there. Okay? So now I'm going to back that up with a pull, two pulls. We're going to see if I have room to do this. I'm going to figure it out as I do this with you. Okay, bent over mid row. So for bent over row, I'm going to have my feet about, excuse me, hip width apart, shoulder blades down and back, hinge my hips out and back, look towards the floor. My back is flat. So there's a slight angle in my hands. 
not palms facing, not palms back, slight angle. I'm gonna row it up just under my chest, top of my rib cage, right there. You see that? I'll go from this side, maybe right here, hinge it, slight angle in your hands, row it up, okay? So there's your first pull, reverse flies. I'll come this way. This one's gonna be hard, guys. I have to show you. I have to adjust the straps. Okay, I'm gonna have to come out this way. Hopefully, you're gonna be able to see me. Awkward. Okay. Now you're going to understand why you want that door to open inwards so you don't fall down. Okay. Oh, shoot. It's hilarious. I'm going to move the mat a little bit more for myself. Wood floor is going to be slippery. Alrighty. Oh, this is hard. Space. You're going to pull wide. And you're going to pull away. Hopefully you can see that. I have no idea. Okay. I'll move that back because I need that for grip. I'll have to check that to see if you guys can see that later. Um, single arm dumbbell chest press. So we're going to come back here. Now this exercise will work your core and your center more if you have a bench, but still, don't worry about it. Use the floor. We use what we have. It's better to move than not move. So we're gonna go right here and just press and press one arm at a time. So your center will fire a little bit on this side you are working, okay? Let me see, here we go. I think we're doing archer push-ups next, but let me double check. Yes, okay. So, I'm gonna lengthen these back out. I'm gonna say that's good. We'll just make do. So, archer push-ups. That just means one arm's gonna do a chest press as one arm does a chest fly, and hopefully you can see. Um, I'm actually going to start in with my hands in each position. So again, straps do not touch the arms. Elevate up so the straps are not touching your arms. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads. Upper back is flat and strong. One palm is going to face in, one palm is going to face down. As I go towards the floor, the palm facing down is going to come into a chest press. The other goes wide out into a chest fly. Come back up to center and you alternate. Hopefully you can see what that looks like right there and right there, okay? So that's your third set of two, your second set of presses. All right. So now we're gonna do a wide row and a single handle pull, okay? Wide row. Same stance, we're doing bent over. You know we use the equipment we have, we get creative, we do what we can. Like I said, it's quality, not quantity. So get creative, do what feels good. Moving is better than not moving. Yay, <laughs> especially now. All right, hinge it forward. Same position as your mid pull, but palms are facing back. So not angled all the way back, look towards the floor. Nice flat back, you're gonna pull wide, and you're gonna pull wide. Does that make sense? Right there. I'm gonna show you at the side here. Same position, out and back, palms face back, and pull wide, and pull wide. Okay, so here's the thing, we've done a single arm chest press, now we're gonna do a single arm pull. I'm gonna shorten these all the way again. I'm going to go into single handle mode just because um, I 
for that. I'm afraid. Yeah, you guys won't see me if I go that way. I don't know. <laughs> this is hard. I don't know if you guys can see me. This is hilarious. Uh, I'm going to definitely be going out of frame here, guys. I don't know if you can see this. Definitely. Sorry, booty shot, guys. What are you going to do? You're gonna use one arm. I don't really have the space to rotate, so I'm just gonna square it up. Can y'all see that? <laughs> pull it up, arm is fully extended. Keep my elbow tight, pull it close. It's like a one-arm dumbbell row. You're just rowing your entire body. I'll do one more just in case. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so now it's my turn to actually full on get to this and do it. Um, don't let your space limit you. Uh, just move, have fun. This is an interesting time for all of us. So, uh, okay guys, I'm gonna close. Mwah! Sending love and health to everybody and uh, we're gonna make it through this together, <laughs> okay?